Today we are going to create this paper folding transition effect in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I turn on After Effects and you can see that I've already imported a couple of these videos which I'm going to use. Now it's completely up to you, you can use whatever videos you have. And also I'm going to use this paper texture which is completely free. I will put a link in the description from where you can download this. And also before you comment about the audio or the sound effects then you can just simply go to your youtube channel and then go to the audio library you can see we have the sound effects and there are like thousands of sound effects that you can choose from so for example you can search for paper and you can see we have a bunch of different paper sound effects which you can use so once you have everything you can import them in after effects and you are ready to go so we are going to create a transition on top of this video now let's drag our second video which we want to transition so it's quite big so i'm going to press s and let's just scale this down to something like that so here we have our video now you can go to whatever frame from where you want the transition to start so for example i want the transition to start from here now we can trim this area now let's quickly zoom in and we're going to move like one frame forward now let's select this layer press ctrl shift d to split this now let's go to the very beginning let's select this right click and freeze frame now we can roto out this subject so let's increase it like a couple of frames now make sure that this roto brush is selected now double click on this now just click and drag and you can see that it will add this roto area just select your subject which you want to include like this now in case if it includes some areas that you don't want so for example if it includes something like this then all you have to do is just hold on the alt key and just click and drag and it will get rid of that area like that so let's include these hands as well just click and drag so here you can see we have included everything that we want so once you're happy with this all you have to do is just click on freeze frame that will take some time to freeze these frames so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue once done we can go back and now you can see we have cut out now we can right click let's pre-compose this and let's call this cut number one and make sure move out attribute is set just click on ok now again we can select this time and let's just freeze frame so that we can extend it however we want let's place it somewhere around here and now we are going to start creating our transition so it's very easy select the pen tool let's select this we are basically going to draw a rough mask so let's click over these points like that now we can press m let's add a keyframe for mask now we can zoom in now using the page down key you can move like one frame ahead and page up key you can move back or you can like simply move using the cursor let's move like three frames ahead and i'm going to slowly reveal the image by simply moving this top mask like that now again let's move three frames let's reveal a little bit more just keep on doing this till you have like the full image revealed and at this point we can have our original video start playing so we can select all of these keyframes right click let's toggle hold keyframe now if i press play we have this transition now all we have to do is just add our paper footage to this so for the paper footage what we are going to do is we are going to first select this and let's create a new composition and let's call this one paper one width and height will be let's set this to 1080 by 1920 rest we can change later on don't worry about that let's drag this into this composition now we are going to only align the top part so let's just scale this down now we are focusing only on this top part so let's align it over here now once you're happy with this we can crop our composition by simply clicking on this icon so now you can just simply click and drag and it will give you an area so let's pick something like that so once you're happy with this we can go to the composition and let's crop contour region of interest now you can see we have only this region now we are pretty much done with this but we have to get rid of this black area in order to apply the effect so first we can apply extract effect and if i drag it onto this now let's make sure that the transparent is visible 
all we have to do is just move it a little bit ahead and you can see that it will get rid of all of these black areas perfect so we are happy with this now we can go back let's select this press ctrl d for paper 2 now in the same way we can move it a little bit up so that we have this bottom one as well let's select this press ctrl d let's have a little bit of variation in the paper 3 like this let's select this press ctrl d in the paper 4 we can move it to the top so that we have this last variation perfect now we can go back and let's select and drag our paper 1 let's place it at this point so all we have to do is just simply scale it down and just place it over here so let me just quickly zoom in and i'm going to align it over here now we can select the move anchor tool and let's move the anchor point to this location let's press s and we are going to probably scale this down to just match this region now we can press s let's uncheck that and we can lower down its height a little bit somewhere around here looks good perfect now again we can move to the next keyframe now we don't want to see this so press ctrl shift t and we can delete the top part now we can drag the paper to so we are going to add one paper at the top and one inside this so for the second one all we have to do is let's select this and we can select the track mat option and let's select this footage now it will hide our footage as well so we can enable it by simply clicking on this now if you're using the older versions then you won't have this pick whip instead you will have alpha mat luma mat then you can just search on youtube about how to do it using the old method but if you have the newer versions then you can use this so, so let's select it and let's move it press r to rotate it and i think this looks good let's select this press u again let's move like a couple of frames ahead we can press ctrl shift d and let's delete this we have the other part at this point we can have our paper 3 we are basically adding some variation to the paper texture so let's just place it over here now you can see that we have some area over here some at this point some at this point and this is not visible so what we can do is we can like have a overall paper texture on all of these so again let's select the move anchor tool and let's place it over here so that we can easily align it let's press s let's scale this up let's uncheck these values and we can probably lower it down like that again move couple of frames ctrl shift t let's delete the rest part now again we can select the paper tool and this one we can want it inside so you can see that already the the track mat is applied let's just place it over here and play around with a couple of these settings perfect let's move to the next frame let's select this press ctrl d and let's move it to the top now at this point you can see that the gap is very big so we can what we can do is we can select this pen tool and we can just draw a very rough mask so that only this region is visible like that and we can do the same thing over here as well perfect so here we have our two cutouts and at last we can have our this paper too let's change its position and at last we will have this final frame so now if i press play you can see we have this paper folding effect now to really enhance this what we can do is we can have an adjustment layer and let's place it over here and on top of this we can apply exposure effect let's drag it to this point let's go to this cut point let's add a keyframe and let's press u and we can move this keyframe a little bit ahead set the value to 1 so that it is bright move a little bit ahead and set the value to 0 now we can trim this so now if i press play it will add a really nice flash effect like that so in this way you can like just keep on continuing and you can import the other video so for example we have this one so let's import the video 3 which is of this bus so again just go to a point where you want the object so for example somewhere around here let's trim it and after that move one frame ahead just to split it and then freeze frame it and roto it out and after that you can apply some paper texture using the mask like this 
So this is how you can create these kind of effects in After Effects. And these look very professional. You can use them as a transition between two scenes. So the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can check it out. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. And with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.